Chichita. I'm here to paint the mural. We're gonna be beautifying this park and just bringing a positive vibe to Mexico. It generally feels great being able to do something, especially when you're young and you're in high school. Um, there's not much, there's not many things we, we can do. We can't really vote. There's all we can really do is try our best. We do small little things like this where we bring great um, people together to paint something beautiful. And we just decided to spend our Saturday night at and we thought it would be fun because there's going to be a painting activity. So we're just doing that right now and cleaning up. One of my advisors, uh, his, his name is uh, Mr. Wong, he encouraged us all, like all of us, to get involved with the community as well as being a student. So he thought, he thinks that it's really important that like, we're maintaining our grades and also thinking about our community. I'm here because I feel it's important to give back to our community and bring some nice, colorful things. It helps bring new perspectives and experiences where we're all united into giving back. And it kind of leads to like a domino effect when other people see that they're giving back to their community and they say, hey, look at that. And they're like, oh, I kind of want to do that too. And so it expands, and as it grows, more and more flourishes. Mm -hmm. Cholo is beautiful. I'm here to help um, paint this mural behind us, to clean the park. Um, I am an adoptee of this park through the Adopt the Green Area program. And well, it's my responsibility as long as the organizations to clean the park, to get rid of graffiti, to beautify it and all that. But above that, we're here to help our community, um, to make this, you know, like a, a place for, for the youth to be able to come by and feel safe and be able to express themselves through art as well as like heal through art, because that's one of the biggest things of our movement, um, to, to use art to heal. Um, so we have the little libraries that we always allow the community to paint and decorate however they want. And within those libraries, we also have um, the books that we have been donated, but also a select, like, special selection of books that we believe are empowering to our community. Um, so, like, representative of queer, of women authors, of brown authors, um, talk about real issues, just so so the youth can, you know, grow up reading about themselves and feeling represented within them, um, within the literature. We have a hashtag lexical reads. <laughs> um, so we have that and then the cleanups, which are part of the beautification effort and also the community bridges. So we have community bridges that have also been painted by the community and within them they have like food that has been donated um, that we find with our grant and that's just for anyone who's hungry and thirsty out there to be able to grab. <laughs> Tambien, uh, we are also doing our holistic wellness project that involves community-based projects. So, community garden, community fridge, and community library. This is the community library right here, and uh, we already have a community fridge up and running at 2nd Street, right in front of the 99 cent store. Inside the thrift shop where the Calexico Wellness Center has their thrift shop, in front of the 99 2nd Street. Um, we have the community libraries. We already have two set up, one by the Calle de Oro Park. Um, that's by the high school, and then one on fifth street in the housing authority complex where it's like a low-income housing so you put libraries where more than likely people don't really tend to look for books you know what i'm saying so uh it's also very accessible because it's free everything that we do is free so like anyone can come out here and like participate for free there's no investment you have to do other, other than time and commitment but like um it's it's like you can go to the, to the fridge get a water get a banana get an apple walk to the library get a free book and then come out here on the Saturday to start cleaning it they even brought snacks so we are in the making of the community garden hopefully which is going to be in the secret park the Robert Kennedy park it's a nice secluded park really uh, protected by like the neighbors the neighbors take care of that park most of the time so might as well make a garden because as you see around here um, it's already like elderly people living out here but these people were farmers when they were young and they're like I mean some people are still farmers when they're old but oh, they are gardeners they are like people that make life in this valley so, and this, this, this um, neighborhood has 
very rich historical like background. Like these houses were for the campesinos first. Like they were like government given houses and like um no si era para los braceros no los braceros no. Pero point being that like our our valley is surrounded by agriculture and rotates with agriculture and we don't give the right resources to those communities right we're out here trying to make a change because we are Calexico needs change and we're trying to like more than anything like spread positivity spread community we're trying to build community that's gonna have, um, revolving around those projects like this community library this is the third uh, paint session we have and every single session is been good um, we did one at the art walk we did one in well in the locations but um, this is the third one. We're aiming for five. We have two more to, to put out. Um, we have one fridge. We have two more fridges that we can put out. Uh, and it's going to be one garden up here. So we're, we're hoping for big, longer, bigger and better projects throughout the years. Whether it's our first year, well, we already reached one year anniversary, but um, it's been a journey. Because we started with protesting. We started August 14th protesting the city council. And uh, from there on, we're like, well, we can't just be, you know, being loud about something and not doing anything. So we have this balance of, like, advocacy and also community awareness and community empowerment. So that's our focus, like, to empower people and tell them, hey, you guys can do stuff. Like, don't wait on the city council to tell you what to do. They're not going to tell you. Or don't wait on, like, the the like leader of the neighborhood who like help you do events you're gonna just do it and 